In this video, we're going to take a look at gaseous elements. So there are two kind of key things that we're going to take a look at here. First, we're going to look at identifying elements found in the gaseous state at room temperature and standard pressure on the periodic table. So we're going to take a look and find which elements are gases at room temperature and standard pressure. And then we're going to look at naming as well as the chemical formula for those gaseous elements. So starting with where to find the gases on the periodic table. Now note, this is at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa. So these are conditions of standard temperature and pressure, standard ambient temperature and pressure. So your gases are mostly located on the right-hand side of the periodic table. They include your noble gases, and they also include a couple of the halogens, fluorine and chlorine, as well as oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Now I do want to point out here that there are also only two liquids at room temperature and 100 kPa. So that's bromine, that's found in the liquid state at room temperature, as well as mercury. Any other element on the periodic table is actually found as a solid at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa. So that's worthwhile noting as well. Now let's get into writing chemical formulas for gaseous elements. So we do have to remember that some of these are diatomic. And so if we recall from before, diatomic means literally, the di means two, and the atomic means atoms. And so our diatomic elements on here are hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and chlorine. So if we were writing the chemical formula for any of those, we have to remember that it always has two elements or two atoms. So it, it would be H2, or it would be N2, O2, F2, or Cl2. Now because we are indicating that they are gases, it's worthwhile putting in the state symbol as well. So we're just gonna add a little gas symbol to each of these to indicate that they are in the gaseous state. Noble gases are not diatomic. And so what you would do is just write out the element symbol for helium, it would just be HE, and then we would include the gas state symbol. And that would be the same for any of those. So neon would be NE gas and so on. I'm not going to write them all down here, but you get the idea. Now, if we were going to write the name of gaseous elements, really we're just writing the element name and we're adding the word gas afterwards just to really like stress the importance that we know that it's in the gaseous state. So if I gave you H2, with a G, the way you would write that chemical name is you would say that that is hydrogen and gas, okay? So it would be nitrogen gas or oxygen gas, fluorine gas, chlorine gas. So we're just taking the element name and we're adding the word gas afterwards. So it would be the element name plus the word gas. And that's how you do it. So that's how you name and give the chemical formula for our gaseous elements, as well as being able to recognize where they are located on the periodic table at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa.